In this tutorial, we will learn how we can use LabVIEW's sound palette, sound VIs, to generate sound waves of our required configuration. So let's go and create a front panel for our VI. Um, let's start by numeric control. Let's call it frequency. Let's uh, have a slider. for volume and let's have a graph for showing the sound wave that we are playing and last let's have a stop button for stopping our VI so we are about done with our uh, the front panel VI let's save it let's call it generate sound So let's go and now write our block diagram code. So let's go and uh, write our uh, code for the VI. We will start by using the VI called sound output configure the first input is uh, the device ID usually it's the first device so we will keep it at uh, zero next we need to configure the sound format let's change the Uh, sample rate to something more common like 44100 the number of channels is fine and the bits per sample is also uh, fine let's sample configure the sample mode and continuous sample is fine uh, let's change the number of samples per channel uh, let's configure it to a uh, little less uh, let's say 5000 now let's go uh, to the loop now while loop will do uh, let's do an OR for error or if the user presses the stop button uh, 
let's now simulate a signal let's keep this other settings uh, as they are let's change the sample size to the one we previously specified 44100 uh, let's change the number of samples to the one we specified earlier to 5000 and I guess this is all we need to do okay and next we will specify let the user specify the frequency while the code is running and we will use another sound VI which is called sound output set volume so that we can set the volume of this task and we will set the volume to this level let's connect the error wires pass it through and next we will be uh, showing this on this uh, this um, this sine wave and let's insert convert from dynamic data let's change it to Single waveform. Let's connect the wire through. Next, we will use sound output right. So we will convert this task and we will use this data and we'll provide this error wire to the OR function and pass a copy along once outside the VI we will sound output no not this one uh, sound output clear will clear this task and we will do simple error handler so let's uh, clean up uh, the diagram and we are uh, done 
with the coding let's save it let's go and uh, test our vi let's increase the volume to let's say 100 let's uh, set the frequency to let's say 500 let's turn auto scaling off and let's set it to let's say 0 0.00 Let's enlarge it. Let's run. Let's increase. Let's change the frequency. So this is how you can use LabVIEW's built-in sound VIs to generate sounds of your requirement. Thanks for watching.